What's going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here, shooting another hi adventure video. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. That was, sounded pretty bad, actually. Heading out on this beautiful morning with the boat in tow, taking her out for only her third trip. I really need to name it, actually. We still have not named the boat. So if you have a great name, drop it in the comments below. If I like one particularly, I'll pin it to the top and then maybe we'll vote on it, have a caucus about it, we'll round table it, we will have a powwow about it, put it to a vote because this is a democracy in high adventure videos. Not really, I have the final say in everything. When we pick the name, I'm gonna slap it on the back of the boat. Like I'm printing off name, like whatever you call letters, whatever you make words up with, and we're gonna put it on the back of the boat. So we're gonna make it official. Maybe to have a ceremony, maybe break a bottle of champagne against the back of it as we drive off from the dock. Somebody will probably video it, send it into Fish and Game, then I'll probably get slapped with like a $500 littering fine. Probably get my fishing license suspended for depositing a harmful substance into the water. So today I'm meeting up with a subscriber, Johnny. Now a lot of you might remember him. He took me out last early summer, showed me how to catch striper with the cut bait. And we're gonna be targeting some striper again today. It's middle of winter. Actually, it just turned into February. So here in the south, that means like spring is right around the corner, basically. So let's go link up with Johnny and I'll see you guys at the tackle shop. All right, here we go. Oh, oh that's him, I think. Johnny, dude, long time no see, man. How you been? Dude, let's go get this done. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what, what kind of bait do we need today? Uh, some herrings and some minnows. Do we need the herrings live? Or do we want them dead? Does it matter? It don't matter. It don't matter? Yeah, okay. Uh, get the herring bucket. We ready. Good morning. Bro, how many How many do you want of these? Uh, you can get like a dozen in there. Yeah. What are you getting in there, bro? We got two dozen tuppy minnows. Mm -hmm. Three, okay. three dozen or two dozen? Yeah, let's do three dozen. Three dozen. I plan on mowing through fish today, man. <laughs> Check that out, guys. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. We got tons of it here. Over here, and then they got two bait tanks over here. Just loaded up. Like thousands of them. Pretty sweet. Oh my word, they got them. They got all the bait tanks loaded up. Wait. What's this cat's name again? That is Whiskers. Whiskers? Yeah. Hey, Whiskers. Come here. That one won't let you pet it. Uh, oh, it's man. Good. Hey, you. Hey, Whiskers. Hey, Whiskers. Whiskers won't let me pet it. Whiskers looks like missing a tip of an ear. Whiskers is waiting for some bait to fall out somewhere, it looks like. Ah, uh, here's CJ. Hey, CJ. Hey, CJ. How you doing? You waiting for some bait to hit the ground? CJ, you're missing a chunk out of your ear, too. What are you guys up to? Whatever are you about? All right, CJ, I gotta go fishing. I'll talk to you later. Oh, we're gonna do some fishing, and I'm really excited. Get to the lake and do some fishing. Do some fishing. Okay, enough of that. Public landing. Here we go. All right, let's get the boat ready. Ugh. Little breezy, little breezy. Yo. Whoa, what's this? Oh, dude. Luger Presidential. What? Dude, this looks like a crappy setup right here. Yeah, we'll give it a try on a white perch. Let's Ooh, on the is. white perch. This is crappy man Jigs, dude. Yes, sir. This guy makes his own, does he? He's a local, local guy, isn't he? Local oh, boy. what? 
dude, thank you. Oh man, that see all all my fishing for crappy, I use with my bass rod. Yeah, so it. like, yeah, you know, I mean, it works, right? Yeah. I catch fish, but there's definitely a difference between the crappy right. rod and the, bro. Thank you so much, <laughs> man. man. I appreciate that. Crappy man jigs and a nice crappy rod setup, dude. I'm gonna put this in the boat. Yeah, Let's sure. go. I'm gonna go catch a fish with this one. Sweet. Thank you, man. Dude, that's awesome, guys. Look at that. We got a Fluger rod and reel setup. Well, that's like super lightweight. Like, what is that? That is uh, a six and a half foot rod. Light action, four to eight pound test. That is 100% crappy rod setup right there. All the crappies, panfish. Oh, man. Dude, and, and here in about a month, I think those crap are going to start moving into the uh, into the dock areas yeah. and start, and we'll start, shallow finish, shallow. yeah, start hitting them on the spawn. <laughs> She's, oh yeah, first, do with these blue top batteries, it better start on the first. I paid enough for it, man. You're gonna have to direct me to where we're going, all right? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're here. Definitely like the most swells I've taken the boat out on, but we'll go ahead and put that iPilot to work here, see how she goes. All right, guys, we're on the high seas. We're quickly finding out that uh, the flat bottom boat with the swells gives a good bounce. And uh, what you doing, bro? Oh, we're chumming. Look at that. Chumming chumming that. Fish. He's just he's just snipping up that herring. Uh, I don't, don't want to get the new boat dirty. Yeah, bro, come on. <laughs> so, dude, I guess I'm going to throw out a, a, what, a striper line. Are we just doing Carolina rig on the bottom? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Just toss it out. Okay. Reach in here and grab one of these guys then. You know, I don't have, I should have grabbed my little net. That's okay. I think I'm going to cut this guy in half. I like, I don't know, I've had really good success with cut bait for oh, the yeah, striper. Plus. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, where are you going? A lot of people don't like to use cut bait for some reason. But yeah. I like it. I can't scat this striper. Yeah, really. You have yeah, a variety. It's, it's almost like a snobby thing, I feel like, for people. Some people are like, oh no, I only use live bait. I'm like, well, I like to use whatever I'm going to get fish on. So I'm just going to hook in through the eyes like that. Johnny will throw off one side, I'll throw off the other. Boom. That works. We're in about, let's see, 53 feet of water. All right, just stick it in the rod holder like that. Wait and see what happens. There's one. We just got this little crappy band, crappy jig here. Got a couple of big old split shots because we're in 50 feet of water. This guy's Johnny's tapping his foot on the bottom of the boat. I know what that means. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know what it means, it's a. Uh, uh, down at the where they raise the striper because all these striper are farm raised here in lake murray um and they get used to hearing when they open the gates to feed them there's a tapping noise that happens so a lot of the local fishermen around here try to mimic that tapping noise by banging on the bottom of the boat or like doing what what johnny's doing it's rumored to bring the striper in because the striper instinctively think oh it's feeding time as if they were back at the farm so most fishing you always hear you want to be quiet but here a lot of people a lot of people like to bang on the bottom of the boat to try to draw them in dude it seems it seems to work i see a lot of people do it like i'll bet at least half the fishermen when i'm out right next to the boat you hear yeah yeah you'll hear them bump 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 yeah so it, there must be something to that so because a lot of the locals will do it i'm just letting the boat jig my minnow there which is kind of it's a super lazy way to do it and we got some fish moving through at about 40 feet there's something i'm about i'm about ready to pull that one off the bottom you got one on the bottom Better we pull it off. Yeah, dude, that's straight up striper right there. I think I'm gonna pull mine in and put a fresh piece yeah. on. I might even put a live one on. Put get one of these small ones. Oh, he's see, he, yeah, he go. Yeah, that's a good size striper. He's heading down to the bottom, bro. When you load into that striper uh, on that rod, I don't, I don't want to load on you're gonna be in trouble. Trouble. Look at that. Just a little live herring just hanging out. Oh man, that thing is wiggling around so much. If that don't get him excited, I don't know what will. There you go. You got one? There you go. Oh, nice. First fish of the day. Come on, bro, get him in. Got a perch? Do you need the net? I'm gonna net up your bit. Hopefully it's a good size one. These white perch can sometimes be small. Let's see what you got. 
Oh, well, that's a nice size one. That's a that'll cook up nicely. Perch we was looking for. Boom, guys, we're on the white perch. Look at that guy's like his air sac coming up through his mouth. Yeah, that's a nice one. What is that? Oh, measure him up here. I gotta measure. Let's go officially. It's a nine incher. Yep. Yeah, nine inches. Nice, dude. All right, first fish on the board. Oh, there's something came up off the bottom. I'm watching my herring to make sure that he doesn't all of a sudden just get laid into. Oh, dad, come! There is something big. <laughs> come on, guys! This is what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at. Check this out. There's there's a fish coming up off the bottom. See that right there? See that right there? And I've got my herring. He's probably about six, seven feet off the bottom. Look at that. Oh, there, dude. There are a few fish down there. There are at least two or three down there. Look at that. They're coming up off the bottom. Looking at that herring. I guarantee it. I feel like I'm in wicked tuna right now, man. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Yes. Yes, on the jig, tipped with a toughie. Come on. It's not a striper, but I think it's a delicious white perch. Dude, we're breaking in the new rod. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. All right, so you can tell that this is a white perch because it's just got the one lateral line running along the side. People all the time will be like, that's a white bass. White bass have five of those lines running along this side. So just one, Mike is on the board. Let's drop him in there. Nice. All right, let's keep after him. Oh, there's a bite. No, oh, I just dropped it back down. Got another bite, come on, come on. Oh yeah, I see it on the death finder right there. He came up. Uh, come on. My herring's getting nervous down there. He's shaking around a little bit. Oh no, that's a bite. Holy cow, that, that ain't no herring bumping around. I mean, he is bumping around, but he's getting ner He's nervous down there, bro. I think we're gonna reel it up and check the bait here. Yeah, it was. He's still, oh no, he's still kicking. He's still doing good. I'm gonna drop him back down. All right, all right. Dude, we, what, what, we gotta call that something. We got you on, we got you on pound duty or something like that. That doesn't sound quite right. I'm in the tribe. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, got him on drum duty. There we go. We could each have one. I would be making music while we're out here. <laughs> Come on. Keep yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a striper right there. That's a striper, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Look at this fish. There's a, there's a oh, jumbo there's a perch. jumbo perch. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was a striper. <laughs> dude, look at that. Oh, dude, that's a, you'll fillet that one up. They're still down there. Oh, there's some down there. Oh, guys, we gotta keep an eye on the rods. That, Got that, fish. That drumming. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know that's it is. One. That's a big mark. Dude, that's a big mark, and it's by itself it's too. Gonna be that one right there. Come on, come on, dude. I, here, get out. I gotta measure this up against the cooler here. I wanna say, dude, I'm gonna go 12. I'm gonna say that's a 12 incher. I say that's 13. Oh man, <laughs> it's 10 and a half. 10 and a half, dude. 10 and a half inch perch. I'll take that. He, 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 he looked thick. Yeah, he's a thick one. <laughs> uh, drop it right in. Here we go. It's working, dude. You're bringing them in. Oh, there's a bite around the jig. You were right. Got him. Oh, dude, you called it. Feels like another solid fish. Feels like another solid perch. Calling it again. He said, it. oh yeah, look at that. That's another good size one right there. Look at that. That's another 10 incher right there. Oh, geez, what am I doing here? Good grief. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Still. Oh yeah, dude, that followed my that followed this up. That what it is? That because that's exactly when I was pulling this thing up. Yeah. There, I, that, there's a striper down there. He's hungry. Oh dude, look at this. Wait, what is this? That's not. He's got bait in his mouth. Small fish. Yeah, he's got small. Oh look at that thing. Yeah, small little minnow. He's got minnows, guys. He's like coughing up. You got him? Nice. That looks like a nice one too. Look, mine's coughing up minnows. Dude, we almost doubled up. What you got? Do you need the net? Bro, you're banging them in. Oh man, now we're getting some good good ones now. All right, let's see whose is bigger. Here we go. I think mine is, Mike. Oh, let's see it, let's see it. Oh, that looked my same. Oh, dude, yours is by like a quarter of an inch. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Doubled up. White perch, action. Just drop them in the bucket. Boom. <sighs> This is what's getting them, guys. Just a little toughy on this jig. And the drum. I, yeah, yeah, and the drumming, and the drumming. Dude, yeah, I'm not discounting your drumming, bro. I'm just saying. 
Guys, we're pulling these fish up. When we're pulling the white perch up, something's following them up right there. And I think that's striper. And then there's something down there. There's some little striper hanging out. There's some big striper down there hanging down. Dude, you're getting bit again? What? No way. Oh, I'm dropping mine down. I'm getting mine down to the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, I'm going to net this one for you. Because that's just who I am. Come on. Come on, Perchy. Get him in. Get in here, Perchy. Yeah! Dude, th we're, these are solid size white perch, yeah, too. Yeah, keep thumping there. Dude, I could. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I see them showing up on the screen. Here, here, give me that. I'll take over duties. <laughs> I just thought mine was alive. Oh, he totally just got bit. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, there are a bunch of them down there. That's another nice fish right there. It's another I nice fish. Another Look at that. I got hit on the way up. Did you get hit, too? Come on. Man, I'm pulling them out of 60 feet of water. This is fun. Another Ooh. nice eater. No small fish. When I was catching these earlier, or last year. They got on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my heavens, dude. Get the net. Uh, when, guys, when I was catching these at like Greenwood last summer, they were much smaller. They were like five and six inches. We're getting like eight and 10 inches now. Much nicer. Oh yeah, you got a pig. Look at that. Oh man, these are these are filleting size, man. Look at that. Okay, yeah, yours is bigger. You don't have to <laughs> hold them up that close. Jeez. There we go. There you go. Got him. Woo! So I'm gonna net him just for fun. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna poke him off like that. <laughs> I'm gonna jab at your fish, bro. It's okay, we got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's your drag set at? Good grief, that thing is screaming. It sounds like you got a striper on there. Oh yeah, I've got a good net that for you, man. Dude, that's a fatty again. Come on. Can you beat 10 and a quarter? What do you let? Oh yeah, you 10. Nice. Yeah, where do you think you're going? You ain't going nowhere. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, yeah, he is spitting up chum. That's fresh chum. Oh, that's crazy, guys. But look at this bunch of chum down here. Look at that. That's what we've been throwing down there for the striper. It's bringing the perch in as well. That's awesome. Mike ain't playing around today. He is not playing around. Okay, we got a solid fish right here. Come on, can we beat that 10 and a quarter? Or is it just a fatty? Got a pancake on. Gosh, dude, hauling him out of this like 60 foot depth. Ain't no, oh, look at this. Look at this fish. Oh, 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 oh. dude, did. net him. I need the net, bro. <laughs> Where's my net, man? Look at that. That's what I'm talking oh about. My dude, that's like a, oh that's my 12. gosh. It had to be 12. That's got to be 12. I, dude, seeing some of those marks down there, I'm like, come on. Let's go. Oh, my. Oh, my heavens. Beat up to his tail. Oh, yeah. Oh, beat it by some good grief. Now that's what I'm talking about. I thought, I mean, dude, you're fishing 60 feet of water oh. out in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, you know, you know, these, these fish that aren't getting targeted, you know, they got to be getting big down there. Sure enough, dude, I'm going to go easily 12 right there. Oh, dude. 12 and a half. Oh, dude, no. Almost 13. Fold the tail. Fold the tail. Fold the tail. Where's you going? Almost 13. Almost 13, dude. 12. Oh. Like 12.9. I never got one that big. Oh my word. Now that's what I'm talking about. Came out here Woo! <laughs> that's right. Dude, when I hooked into that and felt the weight, I was like, that's not a small fish. All right. That is awesome, dude. That's going to fly up nicely. Let's see if we can get a few more of those right there. So guys, just as comparison, here you go. This is what we've been catching, which we're excited about. But look at this, look at that difference. Look at what difference like two inches, two and a half inches makes. Oh man, he was on, like he just loaded on. Got him, there we go. <laughs> came back Boom, came back for got it on the drop. This is nuts, dude. When they move through, like it's a school school too. It's not. My herring's getting a little nervous down there. I just saw that bounce around a little bit. It's a nice size herring, so. Oh, another nice size perch. Look at that. Look at that fatty. Good grief. 
look at that. Mike, I'll fish me. <laughs> dude, I'll bet that goes 11 inches. Dude, you got me in on these fish, man. That's for sure. Showed me the technique. Showed me the how to do it. The drumming. The drumming. I, I swear we're drumming the perch in. We are wanting to drum the striper in, and we've gotten a few to come around, but I swear those perch are enjoying it too. Look at that. See that right down there on the bottom? Those are, those are perch right there. Those are perch just hanging out. And that's what we're looking for. And they're just, there's just schools of them down there. And they're just nailing us. Getting nailed for big fat white perch in the middle of winter. Fill in the bucket. Oh, this is so cool. Johnny on another one. Back out here. Still slaying it. Dude, not, do you need the net? Dude, I'm gonna net him for you. If it's a big one, I'm gonna poke it. Oh, geez. I'm gonna try not to break this rod either. Look at that rod, Ben. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what do you have? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, oh. Coming up, you got angry. Dude, I got the net. Yo, yeah, geez, Louise, good yeah. grief. I'm gonna keep the net off to the side so he doesn't see it. Does it feel weighty? Like striper. Oh, you got a striper. It's, oh man. Dude, would you get him on the jig? You got him on a toughie? Get out of here. Get him over here. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm jabbing him. Get him, nice. Bonus <laughs> Dude, bonus. <laughs> wait, wait, is that a striper? Look how broken the lines are. Yes, they only got stripers here. Oh, they only have stripers. They don't have uh, the, hybrids. they don't have hybrids. Oh, okay. <laughs> that <would> Dude. <laughs> Dude, nice. The whole time. <laughs> That's legit. <laughs> Looks like he's probably about 18, 17, 18 inches. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Dude, nice! This one's waiting on. Look at that! What a bonus. Part is going to. I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna say 18. Yeah. yeah. I knew it. That's awesome. Hey, we got our bonus fish. Bonus fish of the day. On the toughy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's awesome. On a, on a little gold hook. <laughs> on a little. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what is this? Yeah, on the, on the crappy setup, of course, because that's how it always goes. Yep. That's cool. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Go. There she goes. Whoa! Ooh. Here she pretty goes. Fish. That's a pretty fish. That's a good fight. Uh, dude, I thought if that is a, a perch, you got like a two pound perch I, on I thought there. it was a perch at first until <laughs> they start coming up, then they start pulling. Yeah, yeah. They start taking off. <laughs> Let's grab an unwilling participant here. He looks like he's expired. There we go, guys. What are our first two? Get these guys cleaned up here. I'm gonna flay them up. All right. Let's try to cut by those ribs here. Man, that's not even the big one. Look at that. We got a nice, nice little perch fillet there. All right, there we go, guys. We ended up cleaning up about five of them. Kind of some of the smaller ones, but. Of course, we're gonna start off with butter. Everything on this channel starts off with butter. All right, dude, for the first one, should we just do, what was it, butter, salt, and pepper? Let's do that. Go simple, let's get a couple nice fillets here. That looks good right there. What you got? Oh, you got some more fish on the bottom is what we got. Gotta go with that cracked salt and cracked pepper. Dude, this is the life right here. Cooking up fish, beautiful afternoon. February 2nd and it's like I don't know it feels like it could be about 60 degrees or so out here I don't know what my phone says but absolutely gorgeous weather cooking up fresh fish on the boat look at that right there nice thing about this perch too doesn't take long to cook at all pull that off oh yeah it's flaking Woo. that's what I'm talking about right there Johnny bro in honor of taking me out getting me in on some jumbo perch. That is my personal best perch, by the way, as far as white perch goes. What do you think? That's just the butter, the salt, and the pepper. And then I got I got me some teriyaki and stuff for some of these other ones. It's see? clean. It's a clean taste. It's a clean taste? It's like a, it tastes like you're eating a filet mignon, but fish Ooh. ways. Oh my. You think, would you say that's probably the best freshwater yeah. fish you've eaten? I haven't tried walleye yet. That's okay. what I want to try. Now I've tried walleye, so I want to get in on this again. Yeah. Uh, Last time I had it, it was definitely probably top three fish I'd ever eaten. 
but I want to try it again yeah. because I didn't want to at the time just exclaim that proclaim I should say proclaim and exclaim that that was the best fish I'd ever eaten but I, I just I didn't expect it to be but when I ate that last summer I was like holy cow like that's even better than like steelhead like fresh steelhead that I've eaten in Idaho and stuff so we're, we're, I'm gonna get after here myself it smells good Dude, that is such a good taste of fish. Like a, oh my word. Like a special filet, but fish wise, it, don't, don't. <laughs> it doesn't look like how it would taste. Like it doesn't look like it would taste really, really good. Yeah. It's kind of a plain looking fish. It almost reminds me of like a carp. The way it's kind of silvery and white the, that that perch is. Yeah, there's no fishy taste there or anything. There's no, clean, yeah, yeah, it's that's clean right. Taste. There's no fish taste to it. It's just, that. it, it almost reminds me of like, eating a saltwater fish or something like there's just a different there's more flavor to a saltwater fish yeah. and that's what this is you don't get that fishy flavor it's not like a catfish or a bass or a crappy where there's like that twinge of fishy flavor especially like a catfish this is just it's like a white steak yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like a fish steak a fish steak <laughs> Dude, let's cook some more of those up. All right, guys, for the next batch of fish, we've got some of Korean barbecue. I had a subscriber actually send me this a while back, and it's delicious. And we're going to throw some fish in with this, and I almost guarantee you this is going to be off the chain right here. Do they even use that phrase anymore, off the chain? <laughs> Well, you heard it here now. Salt these guys up a little bit there. Ooh, get that Korean barbecue smell going on. Dude, that smells really, really good. I'm excited about this batch right here. Johnny, dude, that looks ready to me. That looks real ready. We're gonna slide it off right there, boom. Turn that down for a minute. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. It smells delicious. Dude, if this is as good as I think it's going to be, I want to just say I might dub this the best tasting freshwater fish I've ever eaten. It's like you put any flavor on this fish and it'd be good. Oh, man. Dude, it's I think... so clean tasting. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Like, that's perfect. Like, it's just a real clean tasting fish. Look at that right there. Check that out. Smells as good as it looks, for sure. Yeah. Oh, my heavens. Lightly salted. Not too heavy on the salt. Perfect. Dude, that is ridiculous. That is a ridiculously tasting fish. Dude, in my opinion, that's the best, even over walleye, and I've had walleye. That's the cleanest, freshest tasting freshwater fish that I've eaten. Yeah. I, I would eat white perch over walleye, over a good, a, a, a nice fresh rainbow trout out of a cold river. That is a white perch out of 60 feet of water. I'd rather go after this. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that, but. Oh, you agree this beat crappie. The, oh, this definitely Guaranteed. beats crappie. Awesome. Yeah, or crappie. I'm sorry, crappie is the local I don't know how to story. say it here either. <laughs> <laughs> I just said crappie, crappie. Dude, you get out that last piece. That's good. I appreciate it. All right, Johnny. We have the option to either cook it the last two ways we did, or I have buffalo wild wings, mango habanero. You want that kick? All right, dude. All right. We still got, we got, well, we got plenty. I mean, the bucket's full, uh, but we got some straight up right here already filleted. Let's get after it with the spicy. I'm gonna melt a little fresh butter in here. We don't need a lot. It's a pretty thick sauce. As you can see, I'm just gonna, just like that. That's all you should need. Now, when you do cook it down, it does seem to cook some of the heat out of it, I've found in the past, but not a much. You just don't need a lot of that. This is probably more of like a dipping sauce, but whatever. In the words of, of the Puma brand, just do it. Just send it. Dude, that should be the that should be the mantra of my of my channel. Just send it. Oh dude, I see that. See that why that's why I get nervous right there. Something came up to take a look. See a big old Archie looking at me? Like Egad. Dude, he dancing, dancing down there. He was not. this big old thing looking at me. Yeah, that just looks spicy right there. Got that orange, almost like a bit of a deep red in there. 
That's gonna be hot, I can guarantee it. Bro, I'm gonna apologize in advance if this is really spicy, but... <laughs> dude, you're crazy, dude. Get after that. It smells spicy. Oh, man, you... Oh, look at that. He's just going... He's going for, like, a whole side of a fish. Oh, my heavens! Dude, with no regard for your taste buds. Yeah, good. Is that good? Sauce is good. How spicy is it? I don't know how much of it cooked out. Or if Scale it's one to ten. Good grief. A half. About half? <laughs> oh, maybe a lot of it cooked out. Let me try some of this. Here. Let me try. I won't get it. Might different on you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm just a pansy when it comes to spice, which is very possible. There we go. See, on a scale of one to ten to me, we're hitting like an eight. <laughs> <laughs> We're like an eight and a half. Man, I'm used to eating the peppers. <laughs> oh, man, holy cow. Well, I'm gonna go get... <coughs> I gotta go get some Pepsi or something. Is my mouth do out? It's like a sweet flavor. Yeah. You get the mango right before, and then the heat hits. So it's a really, really tasty sauce. Dude, every sauce we've done on this fish is delicious. Yeah, it is. Once, it's a very versatile fish. I think that's why I'm gonna call it number one as well. Perch is the most underrated fish. It is. It's Oh, it's very underrated. How many people do you hear going out targeting white perch? I mean, I'm sure there are people out there, but there aren't a lot. I would eat a white perch over a yellow perch all day long. More delicious. So there you have it. High Adventure Videos declared it. Well, YouTube fam, we've stayed out here for what, about another hour and a half. Yeah. And ever since this cloud cover moved over, it's been like nothing, which is weird to me because at 60 feet deep, I wouldn't seem like they would care what the cloud cover is. But seriously, when that sun was out, the fish were on, so whatever. Learned a little something new, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Johnny, bro, thank you, man, for getting me out on this fish. If you have white perch in your area, try some. Go go catch some, fillet them up, cook them up, and don't tell me if they aren't the best tasting freshwater fish that you've ever had. I'm hands serious. Down. Yeah, it, 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 hands down, the best for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and the recipes. And as always, I will see you in the next